And as we showed you, the street version of the manifold of the H22 that's meant to have good top end while maintaining the crazy good mid-range on all throughout, we then showed you a race version that's meant to have a tremendous good top end while actually still continuing to make good torque. And now this. We couldn't help ourselves by continuing the development because this is a personal intake manifold for the H22, so we did this. So now we're going to take the race version into a whole nother level, more like full race. So, hey, you know, you want to see this. And of course, some design ideas like hood entry or the conventional one, right? <laughs> Okay, now this is a race manifold that we showed you on the previous video, but look at this. Because it bends upwards on this area, it's kind of hard to reach even on the other side. So we decided to do a little bit more work and you can see here it curves up so you can port it, but it's just hard to get it perfect. Maybe that's why the CNC ported ones, they don't show you the insides because it's kind of hard to reach. You can see up close here. So we're going to show you this. What we did is, okay, well, let me, let me show you what I'm trying to say first. Okay. Now you can see on the roof, there's some areas that bends up that you cannot reach from here because the carbide or the grinder hits the rear side and from the other side you also can't because it loops down and then loops up so it's gonna hit the port or the runner so that's gonna be hard right so what we did is actually do this and let me wait, wait let me show you the underside wait no sorry sorry yeah we on the side here we plan to cut this from here and of course wait the other side is here all right and you can see from under we're gonna go through and through there never mind the red ink because we were contemplating on having it welded but we'll show you later why we didn't have to weld it all right yeah now we did this look ta-da all right, now we can look closer and show you what we're talking about all along. Let's move close, all right? And here you can see, let's put this on the side. All right, and here you can see, it's actually impossible to see this when if you don't chop it off. And look, that bend where I said it was hard to reach because it loops down and curves up. So, of course, there's no way you can reach it because the shafting of the carbide is going to hit the port or the rotor walls. And remember this when I said this is not knife edged, it's curved properly. Look at this. Let's look close to the divider, right? Here. Look. It's not knife edge, it's perfectly curved like a leading edge of an aerofoil. That's consistent, right? And I wouldn't have seen that unless I cut it, but I know what I'm doing. So before anything else, before we get to the porting bench, subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell for notifications because we will continue to give quality content and of course all the good series that we can do and while this is to promote our shop and to gain customers locally it is also to promote technical awareness this way less people get scammed and that is why you're gonna like this video because it helps youtube spread the video even more and of course by liking it it means you're enjoying what we're doing. And even if you're neutral about it, hit the like button because those who plan to scam other people will not like this video. And that is not you guys. So come on, hit the like button. Let's go. 
And as I mentioned earlier, that we were not gonna have this welded the underside because look, look how thick that is. So what we're gonna do is line up this marker here or the divider so that we can carve it or port it to be lower just enough, just to be thin enough before it breaks out through and through. This way it's gonna be good. And we're gonna round off the leading edges like here on to the manifold here. This way flow is gonna be guided well throughout and it's not gonna be like hitting it or causing unwanted turbulence or shearing effect. It'll be really, really good. So now let's go to the porting bench. And now our Ethyl Alcohol Joy Dishwashing Soap Mix. We're gonna spray this because we're gonna go off with an 80 grit carb uh, sanding roll so that we can smooth out all the areas that we haven't reached. All right, so here we go, all right. And of course, sooner or later, I mean, okay, now let's go to the time lapse because this is gonna get boring. It gets a little interesting smoothing this out because you're starting to feel the areas that you haven't tried before. I mean, areas that we haven't smoothed before because we couldn't reach it without chopping this area. Okay, now it's getting there. And it's actually quite interesting, or at least for me, it's kind of addicting trying to get all this smoothed out. And of course, at this point, it lets you measure the cross-sectional area really, really well. This way you can have the goal or shoot for the goal of the ratio that you need or want. Yeah, now it's not start starting to look good. And actually, this would probably need around two or three more passes just to get all the good shape. And of course, we have to invert it for the short turn. But let's give this a good eye for now. Look at this. You can see the short turn now is starting to take shape as much as we want it or the improvements that we want. And you can see it still needs a little bit more work, but hopefully in this camera phone or the camera on my phone can show you guys the texture and all of this is just done with an 80 grit. That's how important the ethyl alcohol and joy dishwashing soap mix is. Look at that, look at the finish is really good. You actually may not need to go down to or up to 120 grit to get this finish. We just need the proper lubrication. Look, it looks really good. And of course, it needs a little bit more work and we're gonna keep going until we are there on the desired shape or contours that we like. And look at this, you can see the short turn still needs a little bit more work. It still has the casting marks, right? But remember this, the raw texture when we just chopped it off. Look, you can see the areas that we couldn't reach and now it's slowly getting to the contours that we like. And you can see, like, we, there's no way we could reach that. And now, look, it's on its way to getting to the shape that we want. And like I always say, light don't lie. You can see the reflection of the curves is still good, but it's need, it needs a little bit more work. So let's go for another round, shall we? All right, now we do the roof one. We're back on the porting bench. We spray some lube, all right. This way we get it smooth enough, just like the floor. And remember, we, we gotta time lap this in a little bit because it's not gonna get too noisy and boring. And remember, on the other video earlier that we were talking about spreading the short turn and we're, we're gonna get to that later okay so now we're working on this yeah you can actually see it's getting smoother and smoother and the transition is gonna be really really good All right because this part is mostly we can't reach it when we didn't chop it off and now we can Okay, now we invert it back to the floor. So we got to finish this up so it's all smooth and the transition is really, really good. Okay, now we go with the time lapse. You can see here, it's actually quite fun getting to reach the texture or the smoothness that we are going after and also the taper. That's really, really important because the runners are quite short. So we have to infuse a lot more taper and that's it. And of course, plenum volume would also dictate on cams and compression. We'll talk about that later. 
Now let's wash this up and let's head to the workbench. But of course, let me show you guys how it looks as it is. Look at that, it's all good in the hood, right? Yep. Now, okay, now this time is for real. Let's go clean it up and go to the workbench. And oh, would you look at that. Pardon me about the rain. As, I, as I'm filming this, we're going through a typhoon, you know, so that's crazy, right? But that's just another day at the office for us. As you can see here, you can see the taper is going really good or it progressed really nice, right? From the entry, so this way it gets smaller all the way to the head or when it gets closer to the head, right? You can see through and through. Sorry about the insides. I couldn't reach that. So I was trying to clean it with the towel, but that's just dirt. That's not, you know, everything is smooth inside. So you can see even the opening up the roof is good. Now let's look at it closer. And you can see the texture. Guys, this is just 80 grit. That's because we have the ethyl alcohol mixed with the dishwashing soap joy that's we're using for uh, lubrication and that helps the 80 grit do its, do a great great or better job sorry about that all right yeah now let's look at the other side from the side of the head you can see the last half inch i did not port because this lets me port match this to whatever head i'm going to use in the future and look it through and through wait let me fix the focus hold up there yeah you can see from the opening all the way until before the head it's really really good this way it's ready for port matching when it's gonna be run and here we laid it up for you guys to see it better on the work that we've done look at that yeah it actually looks really good right and here we're gonna show you closer you can see the runner, the transition from the entry all the way to the head is good. It's shaped really well without no, no obstruction or no unusual ripples or whatever. So it's going to flow really good. And also, we'll talk about this one now. Because the back side, we're going to lower off the divider. This part, we have to round it off until about there, that part. You know we're gonna lower it because this is gonna be a lot lower and of course we're gonna run off the tip and to make it look like this you know so this way the gradual band and the rounded off edges is always your friend you know so th it minimizes the shearing effect on sharp edges this is gonna be good in whatever manifold that you do so yeah so okay now we're gonna talk about the ideas of the manifold that we're gonna use i'm still contemplating on making it a hood entry because it's not quite a race car yet so we're gonna put the throttle body up front so it's out of the hood here but we can also do it the conventional way on the side but by doing that we can just run the oem top section right and just run a few spacers so that's still to be decided and you can click here for the race version manifold that we did earlier that talks about the short turn and the long turn and we're widening it and whatnot it has a full discussion about that right and also on the earlier one the street version is also here you can click on this after right yeah and we talk a lot about different texts on that video so that you know you can binge watch on that and you can subscribe because once we get an idea of the h22 that we're gonna do you know we're gonna have another video on that